Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So I am just starting to dig into the spring 2021 couture collections and there is a lot going on. But first off, I got inspired by this designer, Giambattista Valli. And this collection was absolutely crazy, voluminous, and provided a lot of inspiration for me. And actually I created a set of brushes inspired by this collection. So I'm going to scroll down here and show you a few of the pieces of this collection. So in it, there was a lot of this voluminous tool and I just thought it was really, really inspiring. And I love, and I've always, I, I have some tool and lace brushes, but I, I wanted to kind of have this like multi-layer effect. So I was, this one was really my muse here. And I'm just going to go through. So I was just, you know, taking inspiration from all of these and the, the texture and the volume and you know just all of these effects and I really love the edges um, trying to I was trying to recreate these edges here of that thick lace stacking up on each other and kind of those 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 rough sort of edges so that was really my inspiration and my muse for the set of brushes so I've created a set of brushes so let's pop over here to Photoshop We've got uh, my muse over here. I'm gonna kind of keep her zoomed in there. And first of all, I'm gonna show you the brushes. So I give you a little brush tour. And then we're gonna do a quick tutorial and I'll show you how I created some little flowers with these. And the flowers were really also inspired by couture, like um, how for some of the couture houses like Chanel, the they have special little maisons or little um, little uh, specific studios just for things like creating flowers. And they usually create them by like layering tulle and organzo or fabric. And so that was really my inspiration. So let's do a little brush tour. And of course I'm using my color blending pattern stamp technique here. So we're getting my pattern stamp tool with impressionist check. And I also, if you see here, um, in my patterns, I also created some pre-blended color palettes to go along with these inspired by the colors of this show. So I'll just show them into you in like red right now. But here's some of the brushes and we're just going to make a little brush thing. And you can really see that sort of tool organza, whatever you call it, sort of effect. And I was really happy with how this is turning out and especially those little rough edges. And for each brush, um, I also created a second version of the brush where it's not as um, thick or it's more spaced out. So you can have a lot of fun like layering those brushes, but that's brush number one. And now you can use these, don't forget, you can use these with other color, any color palettes you want or use them as one color. But I really like using the color blending brushes. This one, you don't see the color gradation because I wanted to mimic these colors here. So I actually sampled from the dresses and so they're very monochromatic, so it's very subtle, but um, it makes a difference. So brush number two is a little bit more dramatic, and then here you can see the, the other version of brush number two, and it's just a little bit more spaced out. And then you've got, let's see, let's change this here, brush number three. And this one I wanted more skinny, and you still get that feeling of that dress over there, which I like. And, you know, same kind of thing. And then we've got brush number four. It's got a little bit more of a, the hard edges. And I like using 4, 4B four because it's more spaced out. So just for example here, I could take my brush number one and make that, you know, kind of a nice soft thing and then take 4B and go over it. And I really like that. The, the lines, I feel like it really kind of mimics these like sharper lines that you see coming down through here. So it's all kind of mimicking that. But then once we get, you know, once I create these, then you know you can use them for all different kinds of things. And yet, you know, most of us aren't gonna be drawing organza and tutu or fashion things. So, but these can be really fun to use in your surface pattern design and your illustration, all kinds of stuff. So here's brush number five, and I'll use a couple different colors here. And then 5B is a little bit more spaced out. And also, don't forget these are pressure sensitive. So if you use a light pressure, you're gonna get um, a different effect. And then like, what do we have here? Six, I'm gonna stick with the reds here. I like the, we've got six, it's a little stronger. And six B, 
Same thing, it's just a little bit more spaced out. And then seven is really fun, I really like it. Let me grab another color here. Seven has got that same kind of effect, but it's contained. And here I'm drawing very lightly, but then if I push down really hard, it's very filled in. So you can see the different um, sort of effects you can get. But you can even use these on background patterns to fill in um, different areas, what have you. So just a lot of fun, and I really like 7B2. Um, I think that's really fun, a little more spaced out, and I like that it's contained. And let's see here, what do we got? Eight. This one's fun because this is contained, but it's got a softer, fuzzier edge. So I think it's really, it's really fun. And you know, you can do some cool layering and everything. Number nine is kind of fun because if you do a little circle, you can make some little, uh, I like how it has the bulbous sort of shape. So you can make some little flowers and like there in one brush stroke, you've made like a little flower motif. So that's kind of fun. And let's see here, what do we got? Number 10. This one was just a little bit of a, a trim sort of thing, but a little rougher. And 10B obviously is like more spaced out, but I like layering them. And yeah, you can do a lot of cool things. And then 11 and 12 are kind of some like brushes that I could imagine using on a background, you know, to fill out like a something like this. So I have number 11. And then number 12 has more of a, it has a bit of a thicker um, or the larger sort of uh, texture in it. So I think that you could have like a lot of fun, you know, paint some background strokes or something like that. So that is the collection. There's like 22. And so you can have a lot of fun with them. And then what I'm gonna show you to do, obviously, you know, that that's the inspiration, that's the jumping off point with is the couture, but not a lot of us probably are doing fashion illustration. Of course there are fashion illustrators. I think they could use, have a lot of fun with this, use it as like a, you know, skirts or tool or whatever, but most of us, you know, are doing different things. So I'm gonna show you something that's like maybe a little bit more practical. And so I created this flower here and I really like the feel of it and you really feel like depth and texture and uh, just a lot of fun. And actually when I was creating this, um, I created this little motif here and I just layered a few of the brush strokes on top of each other. And then I was like, this is interesting, but these brushes could kind of be a lot, you know, with the, they're a lot there. And so I think sometimes you might want to use them a little bit like you use sparkle or glitter, you know, a little sparingly try to, you know, maybe just use one brush stroke as like texture on your project because they can add up to be a little, a, a, a lot, but I'm actually happy with how this turned out. So what I actually did was um, to start off with is I drew this and I just layered a few of the brush strokes like you see here. And then I just cut out like a shape of a petal and I repeated it four times here and then put a little strokes behind it. But what I'm gonna do now for this demo is do the same kind of thing, but rather than just draw it and cut it out, uh, I'm gonna use this shape as a guide. So I'm going to um, take this little leaf shape that I drew and I'm gonna make a new layer above it. But first of all, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to command and click on that layer to select it, create my selection. And then I'll turn that layer off and I'm gonna get my first brush. So I'm gonna grab like brush number one and let's see here, let's play a little bit with this. I like that, that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna grab, let's see here, one of my more, yeah, that looks good. So what I'm doing, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna, maybe I'll take brush number two. That's a little more drama. I think that's kind of fun. See which, oof, nope, 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 two. So as you can see, I planned this out super, no. But also I'm kind of just, I play as I go. So uh, I grab one of my peach palettes here. I'm grabbing brush number two and I'm just gonna do like that, that looks cool. And notice I kept it down below here because I want to keep that shape, 
but I want to see the edges of that brush like you see here. So I'm leaving it like that, it's just fine. I can make a new layer even so that I can, you know, if I'm not happy with how things go, I can, you know, play around with it. Now probably I will grab like a red, one of the reds, and maybe use that same brush. Oops, let's here. Like, let's keep a little space though. Okay, so we're just layering and kind of playing around. And so I'll make an, I'm gonna put everything on a separate layer. So now I think, let's see here, what did I grab, eight? Um, I think eight's a cool one. We're gonna grab a different color palette, like a peach. Okay, that's fine. And I'm gonna do on the top here, like so. And then maybe I can grab like, 8B is a little bit more, yeah. I'll take that down and, you know, just kind of like building up those things. So it's not gonna look exactly like the one you see, but you know, more, more or less. And then the last one that I did was, I think it was nine, yeah. And I'm just gonna make like a little, I like having that big chunky thing somewhere, but I want it to be a little bit more <clears throat> Subtle. Let's see here. Okay, good enough. That's number nine. And so yeah, so what I did is I just painted within this selection area. And using that selection area is really nice. So you don't have to use a clipping mask or anything like that. And you can keep that, um, you can keep that opacity and you know, have some of the background color showing through. So I like that. So this is good enough. Oh, I have something in my throat. Okay, so now I'm gonna deselect that and I'm gonna take all my um, layers here, group them. Now I can option and drag this to duplicate the group. I'll save my group for backup, you know, in case I ever wanna mess with it. Now I'm gonna merge that group and now I have, oops, now I have this little petal. So this is the basis of our flower here. So let's move this bad boy out of the way. Let's set that one up there. And now I have this petal. And so now I'm just going to option and drag it to duplicate it. Hit Command T to free transform. And I don't want it to be perfect, but I'm gonna like put it like this. I don't want them to be perfectly 90 degrees or anything, you know, like that. So I'm, you know, gonna have them a little bit um, imperfect. So now I'll grab both of those layers, option and drag to duplicate them. Command T, free transform, and I'll go like this. So. As you can see, you can get a little crossy here, but I'm going to make sure that my flowers are not like so perfect. There we go. And the, as you can see, this is just like a little bit different than the other one, but you know, it's never gonna be exactly the same. And I think this one I will, yeah, let's put that at a little angle so. We get the idea. And let me take this one here. I'm going to take the size down a little bit and get it out of our way so we have a little more room to work. So let's grab these ones. So there we've got our four main petals and we're happy with that. Even I can, let's see here. Let me deselect. Yeah. No, I'll leave them kind of a little spaced out. All right, now I'm gonna put a layer below them and I am going to get my pattern stamp tool. And then of course, if you ever are confused a little bit or um, are a little unfamiliar with the pattern stamp method, I'll have a video down below and you can take a look at that and I'll go over um, my, the, you can see where I go over the pattern stamp tool a little bit more in detail. Okay, so I'm gonna use, yeah, to make the kind of background things, I'm gonna use brush 2B, because B is the one that's more spaced out, the B version. And I'm just made a little, I grabbed one of my taupe color palettes, and I just made a little circle sort of shape, and I'm happy with that. I want it to be subtle, because I don't wanna just do too much. And then I'll make a new layer above that, and I am going to grab, is it 4B? Yes. Using the same color palette, which is taupe, it's a little uh, more 
you know, subdued, I'm going to make a little circle. Yeah. And as you can see, it looks like up here a bit. And so you've just got that sort of layering effect. And this is like, it really reminds me of like the little tulle flowers you could see on a lot of couture, especially Chanel. And now I am going to make a new layer. And let's see here. I could kind of fill this in. Um, what did I use? I use, let's see, I saved this. I just used one of my, you know what? I think I used a modern, okay, I used a modern impressionist brush because I just put a little watercolor in the center to darken this to, for behind my little jewel things just to kind of um, give it a little depth. So let me pop over here. I'm grabbing modern impressionist brush 11, which is just a watercolor, and I'm using one of my, uh, my red color palettes, and I could just paint like this. That's fine, but I'm going to put the blend mode to multiply because I want to add a little bit of depth and then maybe take the opacity down. So I'll just drop that in there and then that way it's gonna have a little bit of depth as it's going in behind the um, jewels. But actually, when I created that, I did that last. All right, so let's make a new layer and now we're gonna add those little jewel center and then we're gonna have a really cool sort of flower motif. So just grab any basic brush. I just have like a, just a super smooth round brush. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my regular brush tool, no color blends. I'm going to grab a plain old brush just to make a little some circles and I'll grab red, like a, a red sort of color. And I'm going to use one of my layer styles. I'm gonna use lightly encrusted two for the dark ones. So I'm just going to draw some little, there we go, draw some little dots in the center and not perfect, whatever. There are some dark dots. And now I'll make a new layer. I'm gonna put lightly encrusted one. And then I'm just gonna draw, not even change my color, cause I want them all in the same tone. And I'm just gonna draw some dots and that's like a lighter layer style. So then we get that, um, so we get that kind of jeweled center. And then, you know, you can play with it, uh, maybe add a little, little petal in between if you want, but you get the idea and you know you can just have fun and experiment but um, that just shows you how you can take this inspiration from the runway and most of us are not fashion illustrators so most of us are not going to be drawing tutus or you know drawing the things though some might and they could find these really useful but this is a way that you can use this and take this runway inspiration and create something a bit transformative but you know that you know, it's still inspired by the runway. So it can be really um, practical and fun. So stay tuned because I have another tutorial coming using this brush set. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. And make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos.